So today we're going to do a 2 metre demonstration on 5 watts and uh, we'll just switch the radio to 5 watts. This is the AKD2001. You may remember I did the 4 metre demonstration uh, that's the 70 meg band on uh, using the AKD4001. This is the 2 metre version, the 2001. We do have a 70 cents one, as you can see, it's stacked on top of the Maxon PM150, which we use for the 70 cents demonstration. Um, I don't know where I've put the AKD one. I serviced this this afternoon, and the set suddenly wasn't working. Anyway, I sorted that out, and would you believe it, when I came to edit the video, there was no sound. I pressed the wrong button somewhere or other. G0 OJF. Yes, um, Roger, channel um, 575, over. G0, oh Jeff, is his frequency in use, please? So, um, I serviced the radio, sorted it out, and then no sound. So what we're going to do, we'll put this video on first, so we're doing it a bit topsy-turvy, and then we'll do a, a very quick 20-minute what's inside the radio and what needs servicing. I did a, a bit of an overview of the PM150 as well, but uh, we'll probably redo that as well. So, a bit topsy-turvy, but we'll do the demonstration first. G0 OGF, uh, 2E0 FKC, over. Yeah, just checking. <coughs> so like we did before, he's going to be using a quarter wave aerial, but this time on 2 metres, you're looking at about 18 inches. So when we did 70 cents, it was 5.5 inch aerial. When we did 4 metres, it was a 40 inch aerial. And on here, it's a, uh, about 18 inch aerial. So we'll see how it goes over our usual route. If it's a load of rubbish, I'll get him to change to a better aerial. Um, let's hope we can stay on 5 watts. Two is there, FKC, G0 OGF. There's somebody on this channel now as well. Yes, have you moved off? Well, I can do something like um, 144750. One, Is that any good to you, over? Yeah, that's no problem at all. Right, I'm going to 144750. Four, and for me, that's channel 34. G0, oh Jeff, is this channel on the news, please? G0, oh Jeff, G0, FKC. G0, oh Jeff, loud and clear. Roger that, are you ready to start then? I'm ready to start. The trouble is, I'm, I can receive people from 65 miles away on the collinear area we have. It's a um, is it double seven eight? I can hear somebody breaking through on this channel as well. Oh, Roger. Okay. Well, we can knock it up one, so that would bring us to seven seven five over. G zero O G F is this channel in use, please over. G0F, 2E0FKC. Yep, right, at the end of the lane, I think this channel's clear. Excellent, right. 
you're at the end. This, we don't normally have this faff, not even on Citizens Band. <laughs> Roger received at uh, Ancaster service station G0 Roger. Roger got you going through Ancaster Crossroads. G zero Jeff receiving top of the hill. Roger got you quite well going around scratchy corner at Wills for G zero O Jeff. Zero, Jeff. You just dropped out under the squelch as you went over Wilsford a level crossing over. Ah, Roger, got you. Yes, if you heard that, he had to stop at the level crossing. The lights were red, so it wasn't quite in his usual place. And there was a big cutting into the rock. Which of course is why we choose these places, not quite the usual place. Roger got you at the Kelby turnover. Roger got you at the Greylees turn loud and clear. Roger, well for me that's uh, better than CP at that point. Yes, Roger, um, I don't know, I can't remember how it compared with 4 metres. I think 4 metres was really, really good over. Roger. <clears throat> Roger, got me some surface noise at Rossby level crossing, if you read me. Um, <clears throat> are you going to come back and put the 78 serial on instead over? <laughs> Roger, about the wipeout from the petrol station. Do you want to just turn around and put the 78 serial on uh, and see what the comparison is over? No, that's got loss at this frequency, so that would be daft over. Yeah, okay, do it to 10 watts, and then uh, you don't need to do it to the top of the hill uh, from, you know, we just want to listen to Scratchy Corner and see what it's like on 10 watts, so that people know what it's like for the license level over. Okay, Roger, do you want to switch to 10 watts then? <laughs> Roger receiving. Uh, we'll see what it's like coming back, if there's any difference over. <clears throat> Roger, 
Roger, I've got you over the hospital level crossing. Roger, got you loud and clear at the Greylees turn, G0OGF. G0OGF, Jeff receiving you loud and clear at the Kelby turn. Roger, got you at the Wilswood level crossing, G0 OGF. <laughs> Roger, got you going around Scratchy Corner, Wilsford. Roger, that concludes the test. Uh, I don't mind recording this, but it just struck me that um, somebody said to me today who was in attendance here that uh, he got a, uh, um, a tuner amplifier or something, and it was ever so loud because it went up to 35 on the volume control over. No, in fact, gone are the days when he had rotary volume controls. Right, I'll see you back here. Uh, th uh, thanks for the test. Uh, G0, Jeff Clear. Okay, so um, he went out the six mile test route, five watts, quarter wave aerial, and I say quarter wave aerial is about 18 inches at this frequency, and he came back um, doing 10 watts, which is the uh, limit for the. Um, Oh, fun got found it foundation license in the UK. So foundation license allows you 10 watts. The intermediate license allows you uh, uh, 50 watts, and the full license allows you 400 watts. So I can't remember how the four meter performed, but I think the four meter probably even performed better than that. But that worked great. Now the UHF demonstration, what we did with the PL150 the other day, wasn't really that good. It's the wrong kind of terrain. And uh, we tend to use that on, on the uh, local repeater rather than simplex. So I'm not a big two, user, two meter user. I have only used it a couple of times in being licensed since 1979. That's going to be the third time. But uh, it's, another, it's another tool, isn't it, in the toolbox. So we had a comment on the 77s test about was that a Yesu 690 underneath? And the answer is yes, that is a Yesu 690. G0OGF. Roger will do. Yeah, he wants me to put the other car away. He called me on the repeater, he's only 10 yards away. So, anyway, um, that's where it ends. That worked very well. And I'll redo the AKD um, tune up video, um, but it'll be a bit shorter because the set now works. So, thank you for watching the two meter demonstration and using the, the AKD. Um, 2001 2 meter transceiver from the late 90s and on 5 watts.